Moving on, the United Nations top court has issued a strong ruling on Israel's conduct of its war in Gaza. The International Court of Justice ordered Israel to immediately halt its military operation in the southern Gaza city of Rafah, further increasing international pressure on Israel over its war against Hamas. In a case brought by South Africa accusing Israel of genocide, the latest decision marks the third time this year that the 15-judge panel has issued preliminary orders seeking to rein in the death toll and alleviate humanitarian suffering in Gaza. The court considers that in conformity with the obligations under the Genocide Convention, Israel must immediately halt its military offensive and any other action in the Rafah governorate which may inflict on the Palestinian group in Gaza conditions of life that could bring about its physical destruction in whole or in part. The ICJ has ordered Israel to open the Rafah border crossing for humanitarian assistance. It has said that to preserve evidence, Israel must allow investigators access to Gaza. The judges added that Israel must submit a report on all measures to implement the court's order within one month. Reading out the ruling, the ICJ court president said the fears expressed earlier this year about an operation in Gaza have materialized. He said that the destruction of the city, of the city will further intensify if Israel continues with its operations. The judges said they are not convinced by the evacuation efforts and measures that Israel affirms to have undertaken to enhance security of civilians in the Gaza Strip. The ruling didn't call for a full ceasefire throughout Gaza. A South Africa, which has historic ties to the Palestinian people, requested last week. Pretoria, however, welcomed the order and urged UN member states to back it. Hamas has also welcomed the order, but the militant group says it expected the decision will be for the entire Gaza Strip. The Palestinian ambassador to the UN hailed the decision as he stressed that resolution of the ICJ should be implemented without hesitation and Israel should abide by the ruling immediately. I hope that an actual ceasefire will occur and that Israel will respond to the resolution because Israel does not care about anyone, whether it is the court of justice or any other countries, despite the fact that most countries have turned against it. Even Netanyahu said that neither a court of justice nor anyone else can stop the war on Gaza. Saudi Arabia also welcomed the decision by the World Court. The Gulf Kingdom says the decision is a positive step towards the moral and legal rights of the Palestinian people. But they have called the decision to be extended for the rest of Palestinian territory. Lebanon's Iran-backed group Hezbollah has accused Israel of disrespecting international resolutions. Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah says Israel has never respected an international resolution. On the other hand, Israel has condemned the ICJ's ruling. War cabinet minister Benny Gantz said the decision is an abject moral failure. As the court failed to order the release of the hostages and did not acknowledge Israel's right to defend itself against terror. Reports are also emerging that Israel's ally, the U.S. and the U.K., will reject the decision after slowly blurring their red lines that once stated they could not support a military offensive in Rafah. Ironically enough, shortly after the ICJ rulings, residents of Gaza and Palestinian media reported a series of Israeli airstrikes hitting roads and homes in the Shabura neighborhood of central Rafah.